Hey guys, it's new. Okay, finally, it's time to talk about the things that I do for like fascia and adhesion healing. Last year, after I got my atlas adjusted and my spine started to heal, it became really apparent that I had a lot of adhesions in my body. I'll try to explain this the best way that I can, but I really recommend looking up videos about fascia. It's really fascinating. So basically, it's just all of our connective tissue, right? It's a huge part of our health and our body. And if parts of our fascia are distorted and scarred and have adhesions and stuff like that, it makes it hard for our body to heal, especially the spine, because it kind of pulls things out of place again. Because I grew up with spinal issues and lots of inflammation, back pain, shoulder pain, all of that, it just kind of glued everything together. So you can think of your fascia as like this sheet, like a layer, right? And then you get all scarred and messed up from injuries or from, you know, bad posture and things like that. And all the inflammation makes it sticky like glue. So you just get like, this is the best way I can <laughs> explain it is like just a messed up, bound, gooey stuff. And then in my case, like it calcified. So these like knots that I have, are crunchy and I know that's really gross and it used to be way bigger like this part here used to be huge just a huge crunchy bumpy thing it was almost like a disc and I used to have a bunch of them in my cervical spine too I had such big ones it felt like chips of like ice or something were like stuck inside me like they would shift and it was just crunchy calcified scarring of the fascia basically Thankfully, there are a lot of things you can do to help heal the fascia and it does take some time and you know You got to make it like a daily routine to work on it, but I have found great results So I'm going to share with you what I do. So first I have a foam roller This is by Nordic lifting I found it on Amazon and I had no idea what I was getting into when I bought this I thought like oh, yeah, this you know, this will be nice to like help me work out some stuff or whatever it'll be cool but this thing is crazy it feels so good it's almost like getting a shiatsu massage so it can be kind of intense but really because of this thing I haven't had to get professional massages as much which is crazy because I used to have to get them like every week because I was so messed up and I really needed help getting in there and working out these crunchy nasty things inside of me you can look up videos on how to use this, but basically every morning I roll my back on this to help adjust my spine a little bit, and then I use it behind my neck, and I can actually adjust my atlas, which is amazing. So when I feel a little bit janky and weird, I'll just like get it behind me on the floor during my morning yoga and meditation routine, and just kind of, ooh, I did it just now, just kind of gently like rock my head, and I can gently, gently adjust my cervical spine and it's really loud when it happens but it feels so good. What I really love to do is get this like under my side body like where the underarm meets the chest kinda. I have a lot of tenderness there. It works best if you don't have a shirt on but you can just have like a thin like undershirt or a tank top or something too. But basically I'll just like sink into it and oof like it's intense and I just breathe through it but once I release that it's like this rush. I get this blood flow and like a sense of relief and I feel like I can move my arms better, my shoulders open up, my chest opens up. It feels great. So the next item is kind of similar. It's a little ball though. See? Little spiky ball. Sometimes I call it a torture ball. I'm like, you know, bad and naughty adhesions get the torture ball. But this thing really does feel good too. And same idea, like whenever I have an adhesion that's really bugging me or an area I need to work on, I just like lay on it and you know, you can get it even under your feet, under your hands. I get it in that same spot on my side body and it feels really good. I like to bring it to the bathhouse with me and then like put it under my head after I've uh, gone in the sauna because it'll just roll and kind of open things up there too. This one can also feel pretty intense but the result is great. So just take it slow and just listen to your body. Whenever you roll on an area that feels really intense, it's probably an area that hasn't had any love in a while. <laughs> Okay, so the next item is kind of controversial and I don't use it really the way that it's marketed. It's a fascia blaster. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this. This was marketed as a way to get rid of cellulite. I don't know how true it is, but there are a lot of people that believe that um, a cellulite is like 
just adhesions basically like a bunch of little adhesions and it makes sense to me and that's not really why I bought it I bought it because I have so many adhesion problems I thought like wow this will be really handy for getting in there what I do is after I've taken a hot bath and soaked and stuff I get a bunch of oil that's another thing too if you have adhesions I would recommend doing um, you know self massage get a nice oil or you can make your own blend like I do I make my blends at home just because I like to have control over what's in it and you can just buy a bunch of oils online and do it I do a lot of warm oils like black pepper, chili, but I also like stuff that's gonna be good for nerve pain like rosemary, um, there's even you know winter green peppermint. There's like 20 different oils in here. But if you're not into making your own oil, you can just buy like a warming oil blend online. Just make sure it has, you know, good ingredients in it. Sesame oil is a good base. It's very warming. Anything that's going to help heat you up is going to help to get rid of the adhesions faster because it's like melting that glue that is sticking them together. But basically, so after my bath and after I've gotten a lot of oil on me, I just get these points and I'll find the adhesion that's bugging me and just dig it in. Breathe really deep and I hold it there until I feel like a release. Do that for a little bit and then I'll take these scrubby hand looking parts and I get it in the oil and just go You want to think of it as like tangled hair and brushing a comb through it, right? So your adhesions are tangled fascia right and then this is like a comb so you're just kind of brushing it out and this is great when I'm having a flare-up and I'm just really stuck and tight like a wound up puppet I get this and I'll spend some time on it after a bath and I feel that same release that I do with the foam roller and the ball okay so the last step is really important after you've done like intense fascia work like that you are, might be kind of sore and inflamed, especially with me and my nerve pain. Like I get really, really like psh, just like on fire. And the best thing to do, even if you don't have pain after, is ice packs. I have so many ice packs. I have, these are just three of them. I have like 12 of them in the fridge or in the freezer. I mean, I counted them the other day. But it's really important to neutralize that heat and it'll help you heal faster too. So after a really intense session, I'll just get in bed, put some nice music on or a podcast or whatever, and strap all of these all around wherever I'm having pain and just rest. Medicate if you need to, do whatever you need to do. That's why I love working on my fascia at the bathhouse because I can just jump in the cold tub and as horrible as the cold tub can be sometimes, the result like when I get out is I feel so like re-energized and like it just zaps my spine pain. I love it. Please go to a bathhouse if you have them around you. Ooh, this feels nice. I'm gonna put these on me. <laughs> okay guys, that was it. I know it was a really quick explanation, but I wanted to get it out there because it's really helped me and I've been getting more and more messages from people who are getting their atlas adjusted or who are going through some kind of healing journey. And I think a lot of people on the planet have adhesions that they don't know about. And if we can learn how to take care of them, then we can get healthier and less people have back pain, less people will be grumpy at work, right? <laughs> I think even though we know back pain sucks, we underestimate how much it can mess with your life. You know what I mean? Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful in some way. Thank you to my patrons. I'll leave you all with a good luck kiss. And may the spoons be with you. Bye.